Is it right here? Huh? Yeah, this is it. Okay, right it. here. Yeah, it's I a brand it. new feather. It's so sad. It's Let's show the feather. So you see how there's... Can see so you guys could tell. It is still this bleeding. This is bleeding. It had bled. So that needs to come out right away. Okay, ready? Hello my fellow sniffers, flighters, and newbies. Welcome to my channel. My name is Marlene McCohen. We are about to do something very important today. For those of you who just watched my video on Leo not too long ago with his blood feather. See you have a blood feather? Oh God. Oh wow, look at that. I know a lot of you guys found that helpful. So I just wanna give you a heads up on what's about to happen today while we're up here alone. Carolyn's Hyacinth Macaw Glory has a blood feather. It's very large. She called me, she said, should I take him to the vet or can you help me? Obviously we can help her, but I wanna say something to you guys before we do this. I thought it would be a good idea for us to film this because I think you could get a lot out of it being as Glory is a different kind of bird. However, I just wanna let you know if you guys put any hate comments towards Carolyn at all, I'm going to delete them. And I'll tell you why, because she reads them and she's a person too. So as much as you might feel something about her, if you write something negative, you are bullying and you are transferring that negative energy on somebody and she feels it. So she almost was like, maybe I just shouldn't be on your channel. Maybe I shouldn't film this, but she's doing it for the love of the bird. And on that note, it's not that she couldn't take it out herself. It's that a lot of times you need more than one person to do it. I prefer to have Jenna with me. I had Jenna with me when I did the little cockatiel. You saw George helped me do Leo. And in this case, with such a large bird, the more people we have, the better. Just so you guys know, obviously she could do it herself, but she prefers to take the safe route and have some help. Hi guys. <laughs> so here we go. Oh baby. Yeah. Right. So it's the left wing. Okay. And it's one of her primes. It's not the first that it's the second of okay. her primes. And she was just bleeding, and I don't know from where. I think she chewed it off. Poor thingy. And we got here as soon as possible. Okay, so just so you guys know, what we have ready is I asked her to bring a blanket. So we have a blanket, we have a towel. It's a real soft blanket to wrap the bird up in. I think we're gonna do it over. Can we do it over here, George? Let me get the powder. She knows something's happening. Owl, so I need to do it really fast. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. Is it right Yeah, this is it. Okay, right here. Yeah, it's a brand it. new feather. It's so sad. Let's show the out. feather. So you see how there's. So you guys could tell. It is still this bleeding. This is bleeding. It had bled, so that needs to come out right away. Okay, ready? Ready? One, two. Oh, okay. Got it. Wow. Thank you so much. Okay, don't overdo the powder and we'll put some pressure on it. George gets Where is excited. It? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's all right. Just powder on. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Like a mommy with her baby. That was a big feather. Right? It is humongous. Look at the thing. Make sure you wow. find the point to put pressure on. I did already. I did. Her heart is beating. Oh, let her go. Let her go. She's good. Let's check okay, it. Okay. So guys, here's another example. See the blood coming out? If you don't pull that out, it continues to bleed. Wow, <laughs> look at this feather. It was bleeding right here. You see, it broke right here. That's a dangerous spot. Yeah. That means it like... But look at how big the shaft is. The shaft? Yeah. It's like humongous. Oh, poor thing. Would have been a nice right, thing. Right, right, right. I said just to so let, make sure to get her taken Thank care of. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, oh I can't, ow! Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I forgot I had her on I, my shoulder. I've learned my lesson with those things. <laughs> Leo is so obsessed with little kids that George came out and wanted to say hi and give Leo a hug, and he got bit by Leo. I feel like I just went to war and came back. Stop but it. you're very welcome. A hug Thank from you. afar. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. I love Bye. you. Thank you so much, Marlene. You're very welcome. Wow, what a big feather. <laughs> I can keep it as a souvenir. Let's, uh, in, uh, let's check the blood here. Let's make sure that we have the right pressure on it, okay? Megan, get the present that we have for Carolyn. Do you have it? Yeah, I just gotta shut it. What kind of packing is that? How come it's so big? I told you. 
Is it's this enormous. A this is a large bird box. Oh my god, it's so big. We have a present for you, Carolyn. <gasps> no way! I got it better. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Why? Because you don't have to, but we wanted to give you one as an influencer to see if you would do an unboxing on your channel. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> what was all that screaming you were doing in the room just now? Oh, so for this month's Feathered Fun Box, we have charms. They are this month's charms, and they came in, and you're gonna die when you see them. I haven't seen them. What's <laughs> Carolyn's gonna pull it out? Carolyn will be the first to see it. Yes, I have a straw in my hair, guys, because like when I don't have stuff to tie my hair up with, I grab anything. Kind of matches my outfit and jewelry. Because I was re wearing a red snipper shirt today. Go ahead, Carolyn. Be surprised by the box and let me know which birds you think will like it. Okay. Come do it in the light so we look beautiful. Carolyn has all sizes of birds. Our large box is really for medium birds as far as African greys, some cockatoos, galak cockatoos. She has some very large birds. One day we'll make an, a large box for the larger birds, but if you think about it, there had to be like four sizes. So like extra small birds, like the budgies and such, small birds like Senegals, Conyers, cockatiels, then technically the medium slash large birds, which are large birds, like Jersey and Leo and, and such and then later we'll make a bigger rock. So she has some all different size birds, so these toys will work, if not obviously for the macaws, they'll work for her other birds. Okay, I'm excited to see what your, your reaction's uh, gonna be. That, it's kinda like Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even wanna break the sticker. I know. Wow, glory. If you have kids, the kids will like chew on it. <laughs> ow! Ow! <laughs> um, that toy probably is That's big enough. That's a sign she loves me. Okay, you can play with that. I opened the charm. I didn't even do my nails. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like so small. This is the smallest birdie I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> oh my god. The tiniest bird in her life and the biggest bird. Do you know who that bird is? It looks like a cockatiel of little like... It is. That was my first bird. That's my first bird, Dooley. Isn't that exciting? So for Thanksgiving, we did a thankful box to my first bird. Oh, how sweet. Isn't that cute? My first bird was a budgie. And then it was a cockatiel, a yellow cockatiel as well. Oh her gosh. name was Pearly. I'm gonna keep this charm. What else is in this box? So next toy in here? It's this nice big wood toy. Don't hit me with it. No, ow, ow. More stickers. The cute little stickers. One's a magnet. Oh, that's a magnet for the refrigerator. And that's also the little cockatiel, right? Mm -hmm. I have to kiss Marlene. She gave this to us. <laughs> and then here's like little two toys. And you can make your own little toy. Oh, you want one of that? Oh, that she likes. That's what she likes. And then here's another little like pin, a pin, and another toy. <laughs> wow. Those are hard blocks too. They're nice, they're nice little blocks. She likes the blocks. And then I think I'll put this nice box into Angel's cage. I was gonna ask you if you would do that, make Angel a house with it. Yeah, he Is will. Is that Angel's it. new house? Yeah. I love Angel, so will you send me a picture of I it? I need to open up a little hole right here, a small hole like this. Fine, we'll accept, we'll accept a hole in our box for Angel to live in it. <laughs> He's gonna like make the hole bigger and he was gonna walk his way inside. He loves, he has houses, he loves houses. And he loves all this stuff. Angel, my little Loriki. Thank you so much. I'm so glad this you liked great. it. But right? look though, these toys are pretty good for the big bird. This will last yeah. for sure. We're really proud of this box, it's honestly. It's beautiful. Just so much fun putting it together. If you guys, maybe I'll give you guys a tour of the room. 
Not today. Put everything back in. <laughs> not, <laughs> not today. It was a good choice to come here instead of the vet. Judge did a wonderful job. Okay, guys, so Carolyn had already put this in the car, but I wanted to take another moment to give you guys an extremely good look. If you don't see this little bulb at the end, see that bulb right there? So if you guys didn't see that bulb at the end, then you have not gotten the complete feather out. Generally, you should see this entire shaft. I'm not sure if I had mentioned in the last video, but what you want to put on it. If you have Quick Stop, Quick Stop has a tiny bit of medicated to basically prevent the bird from feeling pain, but you can also use baking soda. That is actually what I use so that, you know, and then you apply pressure and stop it. I think I didn't mention that in the last video. You want to be able to pull this entire thing out. Once you pull this out, this will close. Once this closes, it should essentially stop bleeding. There are some extreme situations where if you can't get it to stop bleeding, but you should be able to with enough pressure. Usually I believe that's in the handling, but sometimes in an extreme extreme case, let's say the bird just never stops bleeding and never stops bleeding, then what they do at the vet, they cauterize it. Basically, they apply a heat with metal to close it. Don't ever do that to your bird. That's just something that the vet is prepared for. I've never had to do that. Usually what you guys could do also, if you are having trouble with the pressure and stopping the bleeding, you can put a natural mask on it, like a clay mask that'll close it right up. The goal is to not let the blood come out of the bird's body anymore more so that's the goal right there so a clay mask can work really well in extreme conditions and some people actually kind of apply like soap if you know what I mean like they put their birds feather through a little bit of soap just to put that clot there but the first thing I would always do is the baking soda you don't need to apply so much George just picks to cover his bases, I guess. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to Carolyn's channel. I love you guys so, so much. You'll see lots of fun flight videos and drama videos on her channel, which are always so fun and entertaining. Right, and we are not a bird channel. We are a drama channel. That's we what she's decided. That. And I think it makes sense. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Bye. By the way, don't forget, if you guys are looking for an amazing bird food brand for your bird that is healthy, organic, and not full of food colorings and sugar and peanut smash. Check out Marlene's signature blend. I did this along with Topps Parrot Food. We just launched in the UK. Northern Parrots now sells our food. You guys have been asking for it, you got it. Also, Things for Wings in Canada sells our bird food right now. I'm proud to announce and they will ship it to you. I encourage you guys to check out my Feathered Fun Box. It's a passion project. It's a subscription box that comes with with parrot toys for your bird and also special merch. Kind of like my dream box. Honestly, I put so much into it. I love that there's something like this for birds out in the world. That's why I created it, www.featheredfunbox.com. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for listening.